Longest in qualification with 13.716, a bronze medalist at the last European Championships where she also won a team gold. She had a point of one penalty for this, this first vault in qualification. If she can eliminate that, then that might help a little bit. Very difficult work. Similar outcome from Motak. As you say, some difficult vaulting. We're going to see some 5.4 difficulty vaults in this final. And one of the most common is the double twisting Yurchenko, which is what she does here. Not bad, just a little bit low on landing, maybe lacking a little bit of amplitude. She has been such an impressive prospect for Ukraine, really came on strong at the end of last year. And it's because of skills like this, but you see she does put her left foot outside the white lines there. That will be a small deduction. What the code of points mandates is that gymnasts finish kind of dead center, and that's why we have those lines on the landing mat. Yes, and that was where the point one penalty was uh, attributed in the qualification process. Those of you new to watching the women's vaults, then you will get uh, an indication of the gymnasts' difficulty before they get underway because they must declare the vault that they are intending to produce. And we have got some uh, difficult vaults coming up later on. 13.966 for Motang. So she is down by a tenth from qualification. Unlike in the all round, we see two vaults in apparatus finals, and they need to come from two different groups, which is a fancy way of saying that they need to have different entry positions onto the table. And what she is most likely planning to do here is a round off onto the board again, and then a half turn onto the table. There it is. So Anastasia Motak is 